What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew. It's great to see you back in Jacksonville now. I got back last Thursday night and since I've been back I've been putting in a lot of work on the range and a lot of work in the gym because my three weeks in Ottawa was none of that. I wasn't sure if I was going to even make an upload for today and then as I was out here practicing just on my warm-up I got to thinking about some of the things that I heard yesterday in a podcast, the newest Altus Performance podcast from Pete Cowan. And it got me thinking, maybe great to kind of share my version of this in a little, little impromptu practice vlog. I don't even have a tripod, I don't have anything. I just have a new phone. So let's see how this turns out with the iPhone 11. <laughs> but working away here on a very intentional and focused practice session. Like a lot of the things Pete was saying in, uh, in that podcast yesterday is incredible. I've linked it below. If you don't listen to Altus, Earn Your Edge, podcast you're, you're missing out there's been a lot of great interviews during this whole kind of quarantine season but towards the end of the interview Pete really hones in on something that I was really great at early in my professional career late in my amateur career kind of on the heels of a vision 54 and this every shot must have a purpose and Pete says you know he wasn't very good at it when he was practicing but this is something that he wants to really hone in with his players is that literally every shot you hit practice session on the golf course needs to have some sort of intention you need to be trying to accomplish something with every shot you hit because if you're not you don't know if you did it right or wrong you just don't know if you just hit it for the sake of hitting it what are you learning what are you gaining from practice So my practice right now, I'm working really intentionally on the physiological kind of the motion of getting to a good place at the top, but letting this really happen and getting to a feel where I'm like this at impact. So you can see, I'm really trying to feel it a lot with every swing for every rehearsal. And then when I'm over the ball, Kind of let it go but i know exactly what i'm feel, trying to feel and if i feel it or don't feel it that's how i judge that strike so this is a super kind of technical mechanical thing but it, it translates as well if i'm hitting little wedges i'm just focusing solely on the target and then if i have a shot where i'm thinking about technique i didn't accomplish what i wanted to accomplish because the, the the intention there was target focus that's it and that's what uh i'm trying to get out of my practice because i want to start playing tournaments again there's a couple tournaments locally now and i'm going to start playing them so i don't want to be a shitty shitty player anymore <laughs> so i feel really good about where i'm at but i want to keep working intentionally and literally every shot even as i'm talking there's a purpose to this shot Yeah, I can get on some video, I could put live view up and get feedback, or I could put a flight scope and get feedback if I'm dialing in, working on numbers, carry, yardage, all that kind of stuff. But right now, we're just working on a feel of really letting things open up and letting this kind of right shoulder and elbow get right there. Because when I played my best golf, I felt like I was almost just side-arming iron shots. And that's been the weakness the last couple of years since breaking my arm. I've been swinging more with my left arm because this elbow is made of titanium now. And I think subconsciously I've held back from really using this arm. Whereas when I was up in Ottawa and got a bit of practice in, I'm like, dude, just use your right arm. It doesn't hurt anymore. Maybe a little pain here and there, but overall it's 99%. So I'm using my right arm a lot more. I'm able to focus on my right arm, delivering that right side a lot better because when I was swinging just with my left arm, for fear of this, I'd get tight, I'd get tension here, and that's where my steepness comes from. The left arm rushes and kind of yanks across the body. So my focus, 
very intentional is just on the right side, letting this left arm just kind of go along for the ride. But to go along this kind of intentional thing, a great drill for me right now is one arm swings. And I have immediate feedback if I've accomplished what I want to accomplish. But the intention is there. There's a purpose to this shot. But I have feedback. Okay. I know what I'm looking for. Kind of rushed that one, got it thin. As opposed to just, oh, I'm doing a one-arm swing just because, oh, that was a good one. Oh, that was a bad one. I know exactly what I'm looking for. There's a purpose. There's an intention. And holy cow, this makes your practice so much better. See, a little rushed. Okay, get some feedback. Because a great thing Pete said in his podcast is, is a golf swing is a second and a half. And if you hit, you know, 400 golf balls in a day, that's like 10 minutes of work. So if we're out here for hours and hours and hours, but the actual work is only 10, 12 minutes, what are we doing with the rest? We need to make the other bit of that time be very focused, very intentional, very kind of, he keeps saying the word physiological, where you're thinking a lot on the motion, you're doing a lot of good rehearsals, because the reality is, I mean, in this little run here, the work I've put in has just been a minute, and a, a second and a half for each of those swings. So you want kind of the time in and around those swings to be intentional and count as your work. I mean, golfers work very hard, but if we told elite level athletes that, you know, in a five hour session, we actually put about 10 minutes of work in, they'd laugh at us. So how do we make all of these golf balls, all of this time we spend, how do we make it more dynamic, more intentional, more purposeful, if you will, beyond the second and a half it takes to hit a shot. I know what I'm looking for. That was really close, but it was just a little quick. And I can tell by the strike, just a little heavy. But that's perfect. So I've got something that's giving me feedback. And again, intention purpose, focus for everything I'm hitting, not just going through for the sake of going through. So this is a drill I've been really doing a lot lately, teeing up mid irons higher, because if I get steep, I'm gonna hit it like here, or I'm gonna hit it crap or whatever. If I'm shallowed out perfectly, I can kind of hit this thing perfectly and maybe even fade it. Like it's just a great drill I saw on Sean Foley's Instagram. But it's easy, like I could just be like, hit it, okay, nope, nope, nope. Like I'm trying to just hit the right shot as opposed to learning from each one I, I, I make. So have a bit of intention and make this second and a half a lot more. See, that was close but I caught it a little up on the toe. So that tells me I was a little steep, just a little steep. Intention, focus, purpose to that shot. a little bit up on the toe. They're good, but they're just a little high. Man, see? But again, like even though I'm not executing every time or at all for this matter, I know what I'm looking for instead of just reacting. Oh, that was a bad one. Do it again. That was a bad one. Do it again. That's easy to get frustrated. I know what I'm looking for. And it's, it's night and day.
that was better, but it's still a little on the toe. So like, I'm really nitpicking myself here and I want that right feedback. And I want to execute exactly what I'm intending. Perfect. And you can tell by the sound, like that was just hit well. So even though I hit about five shitty ones, being in, intentional with every swing, I learn from each one, and it's like I'm gaining from this practice. And I tell you what, like it just becomes a lot easier and also less stressful because, yeah, that was a bad one. Got a little quick. Can tell by the ball flight, can tell by the strike, but can tell by everything. But I'm not like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I know what I'm trying to do. And right now, this is a feel and an execution block of practice. But then let's say, like I said earlier, if I'm gonna grab a wedge, and now it's like, let's just, Let's just hit the post. My only thinking is target, is post, that's it. You know, there, I hit it on the bounce. Like, there is an intention, there's a purpose to that. So I'm not thinking technique, I'm not thinking anything. I've gone from a mechanical bit now just to, to play. And this is like what Pete Cowan says he gets all his players to do is hit the nine shots. Low, medium, high, draw, fade, straight. Those nine shots. You're out of your you're out of your technique thinking and you're into execution, but you have an intention, you have a purpose, and if you don't do it, you just have feedback right away as opposed to hitting just out into the range for no real reason to feel a good golf swing. I mean, if that's what you're doing, you don't even need to go to the range. Like, you're wasting your time. But then I can go to this one. I can take different trajectories and just like that's the intention that's the purpose of this t part of my practice so i wanted a little lower flight there and i'm judging myself i'm grading myself based on that based on my thinking if i hit a good one but i'm thinking technique that's not what i wanted to do so it's a it's a failing grade Like I said, I wasn't sure if I was gonna upload today, but I just had something I wanted to share. I hope you learned from this. I hope you enjoyed it. And when you go out to your next practice session, have some intention, have some purpose to everything you're doing so that beyond just a second and a half of work, it is to make the golf swing, you're working on everything and your practice becomes far more dynamic, far more engaging and more, much more beneficial than you can actually realize. If you want to listen to that podcast, it is linked below. Pete Cowan is an absolute legend. Um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Now I'm getting back to practice. Peace.